Hello everyone, welcome in my kitchen with Magda and Blaine is somewhere in the house who will come to help me in a little bit. But um, today on No Fear Cooking episode will be shepherd's pie. And shepherd pies, everybody try it in their life, maybe they cooked. You maybe try it in a one way or you cook already so many times shepherd's pie. But today I welcome you in my kitchen and I'm going to show you my way of cooking shepherd's pie. And um, I grew up in Romania, in uh, Moldova, Mlena Woods, near Dorohoi. Uh, yeah, pretty far from the USA country here. And we love lamb. We grew up in the countryside. Later on, we moved in the city, but that's another story. So we did uh, like lamb a lot and we still like it. So I did buy for our shepherd's pie today, everything is right here. All these ingredients, not many, but it's going to be a wonderful explosion of the taste of the food. So the ground lamb, it's about close to a pound. I'm going to use ground sirloin a pound, so all together two pounds. And um, I'm already cooking because uh, we are hungry already for afternoon. And I'm having leftover an eye roast that I had last night. And guess what I'm going to do? Towards the end of everything cooking, I'm going to add a little bit of my eye roast instead of put it in the freezer. With all this, I'm going to start my pan to warm it up. And first step, it will be to brown, to brown your beef, uh, lamb, and I'll put this to the end. We'll go slowly, we have time. Nobody's rushing me yet. So I'm going to start with the meat to be uh, brown and I'm going to put my stove at medium high. I already warm up a little bit my pan because I had time and, and it's just easier and the meat needs to uh, meet the pan while it's hot. So let's start with the, well now I'm going to start with the lamb actually because I do like lamb. So I'm going to start with the lamb in the pan I'm going to put a little bit higher and I'm going to just break it a little bit and start it the cooking. Look how nice it's already the pan. Have it warm helps always when you drop a piece of meat that is cold and or sometimes it's better if you bring the meat to room temperature if you have time. Take it out of the refrigerator. So the ground lamb is in. Now I'm going to put a pound of ground silo in and it's a very nice meat as you see it. Lovely. Let me just uh, put it in. And now we just gentle, let's ground the meat here. I just want to show you that already I did my helping for the cleanup so I can roll it out and throw it away and make it a little bit easier on us uh, who are cooking in the kitchen. Let's brown the meat together. You know the lamb is going to give such a unique taste and um, you don't have to wait always for Easter or special holidays to have some lamb meat. You can uh, use it. The shepherd pie is the perfect way to use a little bit extra lamb in your meal. Wow, this is going to be so good. I am so excited. You know, everyone cooking is so messy, but when your family loves and appreciate what you're cooking and they help. How can you not cook and want it to serve? Um, I always ask around in the kitchen, if, some, if my kids are free, I always ask in the evening, let's prepare for next day. And um, that is one way to make it easier on you to cook a little bit um, things ahead, like today, Last night I had some free time and in my shepherd's pie today I'm going to add 
about this much of the leaf, the white part. And it's right here. I put the last knife just halfway through and the rest will continue with the meat. So this is one way to make it easier for you. Why not? Then you will be happy in the kitchen. So it's going to be that way. That's a one way to help yourself ahead. So I'm keep mixing in the meat and while this is going to brown, all right, I am going to explain also that my carrots that I'm going to add to my meat, it's about a cup of carrots, it's about three carrots. So I'm going to, I have two more in my gadget here and I'm going to give them a, it's done. How easy it is to have this. You know why I like this gadget? I call it Magda's gadget, the cutter. It's easy for younger one to use. You cannot cut your hands and you can involve them in your cooking, in your kitchen. So they are right here. They don't have to be perfect small. I'm going to put that there. Oh, the lamb is already smelling good. Mm, the lamb and the beef together. Carrots is going to give a good taste and also a good color. And I like to use fresh carrots because they are so easy to clean and so easy to just cut them quick and use them in any recipes. Um, other things I like to use frozen, but carrots is easy to cook. Uh, the same time with the meat I put them, so they might take just a little bit longer to cook the carrots. So let's have them like with the meat. I have to look behind here. Babbitt was crying earlier that he wanted to be here. So um, last week we were uh, doing our episode on um, pumpkin pie and he was crying around the kitchen that he heard me talking and he wanted to be here. So here he is, Babbitt. Are you okay? Good. You smell the meat. Mmm. Smells very good. I'm putting my stove now at medium. I don't want to uh, rush the meat. Um, I have to say that the meat, before we put it in our um, casserole to put in the oven, should be pretty much cooked because uh, in the oven you really, when you put it with the mashed potato on top, you put the mashed potato, you just have to warm it up so it doesn't take too long. This smells so heavenly. Oh, it smells so good. I love shepherd's pie. And a little bit of the Romanian adding to this dish, it's so nice. Um, if you do not like lamb, please don't add it on. Just put a little bit more beef or you're choosing, you may choose other meats. It's okay, it's good. At this time, let's add a little bit of the salt. I have here a tablespoon. I'm just going to use half a teaspoon, a tablespoon, just half, and then I'll taste and see if I need more. I rather add more at the end of the salt than too much. You cannot take it back. You can add more, but you cannot take it back. And I'm going to add same thing about half a teaspoon of pe black pepper. And this was fresh, grounded by my son Nathaniel. He is home, he's filming, and he was helping me a little bit before I started cooking. So I do, I do ask, I do ask in my family to help me if uh, they are a free couple moments because then it's a little bit easier on everybody. And look how nice the meat already looks when it's uh, ground beef, ground lamb, anything uh, like this. The meat cooks a little bit faster, so it's not like you need hours and hours. About 25 minutes, I would say the meat is already cooked. And when you put the mashed potato and put it back in the oven to warm up everything, it will be just uh, done. I'm looking at the time and I would like to leave my meat to cook about 10 minutes till all the juices from the meat evaporates a little bit and once that happens I'm going to go and 
I will show you what I'm going to use in about 10 minutes. I love to use um, a gravy that it's already done. It's easy to buy it in the store. And I just add a small jar of, I guess, 15 ounces or 12 ounces or whatever. I bought the one with no, um, with fat free. But in the past, I used the regular one too. Whatever you have in hand, whatever you find right now in the store, which sometimes you don't find them right now, uh, just use it. So if you do not like to use the gravy this way, just put a little bit of flour and maybe a little bit of beef broth, or whatever you have is good. Um, it's in your kitchen and you can add or take a little bit of things out, but I love the way I make it with the gravy like that. It's helping a little bit, makes it just a little bit easier in the kitchen and makes it a little bit easier um, um, to want it to cook more often in your kitchen. Um, I guess that's my take on this. Just like um, I like to do my uh, foil here, it's easy to clean up and why not to use something like that. All right, I'm going to wait a couple more minutes for the meat. Um, it's about about 10 minutes. It's breaking up nice. We want to do that. The carrots have a very good color also, besides a good taste. Uh, it's going to give a wonderful color to our uh, shepherd's pie. What an easy, what a wonderful meal. Um, uh, who invented this and we are all taking a little bit different twist at it which is wonderful isn't it in our kitchen we can do it a little bit different it's almost done Nina Babbitt you're still here you're so patient Babbitt so it's close to 10 minutes on the meat we have the salt and pepper let me see what else we need. I'm just going to put this here to just see if the salt is enough. That was a piece of, um, of lamb. It's delicious. It's so good. And it's not overly power. It's probably used very young uh, lamb day when you go to the grocery. And I was so excited to found just a small pack, like a, almost a pound. If not, you would have to buy a big chunk and then cook it, ground it. That would be a little bit more work, but it's worth it if you like a little bit lamb. I have about 10 minutes at my meat that I was browning. It's lovely. It's very good. At uh, this time now, I'm going to add my jar of gravy. And if you like to, make your own, but it's a bit delicious, easy step to use a gravy from, um, from the store already done. Nobody minds to use a can of gravy and it's delicious, it's very good. Um, it's already in. Everything is getting all good together. The browning of the meat was perfect. I think it is because I like the way it's coming. I'm going to put this here. This is here. And now let's see what we're going to add to our shepherd's pie. I am going to add a cup of peas. And I measure it's a cup. I'm going to put it here. Um, again, I didn't use a regular onion on this. I love on my shepherd's pie to use the leeks. So this is a cup that I did it last night. And if you have time to do it the night before, it's a very easy way to help your uh, timing. That's good. And corn. I love to have corn for this. The colors and the taste comes together good. The corn I had left over from this in August, there are wonderful um, markets. They have good corn, sweet, and very good. So this was a leftover from one night, and I freeze it. So that's what I'm going to use. And now give it a good mix. 
Oh, look at the pretty colors together. It smells to the whole house. That's why Babbitt is sitting here, because it smells so good. Babbitt, you're going to get tired there. Yes, you'll be tired. Are you patient to see through the whole cooking? Oh, this is really no fear, folks. Um, I welcome you to try my way of making this dish. Absolutely lovely. I'm going to cook this for another 10 minutes um, and check on my meat again. About 10 more minutes to 15, the meat should be ready. So I am going to take uh, the roast beef at right at the end. I'm going to add my eye rose that I had left over and I don't want to put it in the freezer. I'm going to add it to my um, to my meal today because it will be a little bit more and then I can have leftovers of the shepherd's pie. Um, with this, I'm going to take a break 10 minutes and we'll come back when this is all going to be cooked. We are back. We are having another two minutes to finish the shepherd's pies with everything you like to put in. Um, you saw what I did, and I'm going to finish my uh, eye rose that I have left over. I'm just quick chopping that I had already done. And this is already cooked, so it doesn't have to do too much, but I'm going to put them in just to mix together the meats. All good. Salt is good. Pepper is good. Actually, I'll add a little bit more pepper. I have it already. Nathaniel worked on it, so why not to finish it? Don't need more salt. Uh, so I just add about altogether half a teaspoon. And uh, with the gravy that has a little bit of salt, it's just perfect. Um, meat is ready, smells so good, the lamb, the colors are good, and also, you're going to have leftover here, this is um, gray for four or five in the evening, and then tomorrow you might have it again, or in two days, or you maybe have to freeze half, put it in smaller containers, and the day you take it out from the freezer, you're going to sing. Happy, healthy, and terrific cooking because you don't have to cook. You have it. So um, I'm going to turn this off because it's going to go in the oven for the mashed potato. Um, while I'm going to arrange the mashed potato, I will tell you what. The mashed potato, I did them this morning very early. I cleaned my potatoes last night and I used two pounds for this dish. And it's a very nice deep dish. I like it a little bit deeper so nothing will come on uh, outside when I put it in the oven to warm on. And uh, mashed potatoes, again, two pounds, a little bit uh, heavy cream, a little bit butter, whatever you like to. And if you don't know how to make a mashed potato, um, go on my video. I have one that I cooked earlier this year. Look how nice that it's on. Done. That's all finished there. Putting the gloves away. And now let's just uh, give it a little smooth to the meat. Oh, looks so good. Even the eyebrows looks good there. But the lamb smells so good. <laughs> it's delicious. Okay, excited. Um, my family is going to love the meal tonight. And guess what? I don't have to clean. They clean usually when I cook. Um, I'm going to add the mashed potato. I'll put it on top and then let's put it in the oven for about um, 25 minutes to 30, especially when it's already warm like that. If it will be cold, if you make it yesterday for today, put it for about 35 minutes to 40. Takes a little bit longer, but this is really fresh uh, mashed potato and the meat, as you see it, it's already um, hot, peeping hot actually. Uh, delicious. Uh, I'm going to get it ready to put in the oven. Just put it nice and smooth here. It doesn't take um, too long and it's not that hard. Again, two pounds of potatoes I think is good. If you like more, 
if your family likes more on top please do a little bit more and this is good look at this this is good it's all smooth and done everything is gone i'm just going to give a little picks here picks here and it's done that's what my mom used to do she said okay let's give a little bit picks of the heels um all good can you clean it a little bit here yes you can but it's not needed it's the household and the friends won't mind if it's a little bit uh, like that. So it's going to go in the oven for, like I said, um, it's all fresh, 20 minutes. You just want to brown it and all together to marry this taste. Um, with this, I'm going to go to put it in the oven and we'll come back when I bring it out. And this, look at that, it's all nice and clean and I don't have to wash too much. See you in about 25 minutes after I put it in the oven. It goes, oh, it's heavy. But look how nice it is also. You have a little bit of room here. It's not going to come on top so you don't have to worry getting your oven dirty. Baba, excuse me. Well, hello again, folks. I'm back, and wow, what a surprise. What a beautiful meal this is. It smells throughout the entire house. Look how beautiful the mashed potatoes get. The, 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 the shepherd's pie is just out of this world, Magda. It's very good, I know. And with that Rom Romanian twist to it, yes. you cannot beat I'm it. I'm glad. I'm very proud of you, Magda. This is a Thank great you. recipe, which you managed to even uh, bring some of Romania into. Yep. Since I was born there, very proud, but love that I live here in the States for so long. I'm learning a little bit more and more delicious, about cooking. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Now, folks, yes. I know a lot of you have written in and said, what's happened to the show? We've changed a little bit. It's almost a year we've been on, and we're changing the format just a little bit because Maud has gotten so good, and people love her, that we're going to feature her more and more. I'm just going to come on at the very end because, you know, i got a podcast I put out every week. It's called Snapshots. You can catch me on YouTube Audio, Apple mm -hmm. Podcast, or any podcast place you can find. Uh, I think you'll like it. It's about nostalgia and history. But I'm always going to be here tasting mm, and loving this girl right here because she's the best. <laughs> 27 years, and I'm still in love with this girl yep. and in love with her cooking. So. Yep. And I surprised him today with a little bit of celery oh. uh, root salad. And you will love this. And from my friend Claire, I'm going to put a helping for Blaine. It's a great salad. I'm going to show you step by step how you make this wonderful celery salad. Is that and today or another video? Another video. Oh, another Not video. today. Okay. Today is Very too much. Good. But I can add a little bit more. No, no, uh, that's fine. No, that's no, good no, 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 okay. no. That's fine. All right. All right. It's Folks, all good. From our it's household good. to your household, manja manja. Till next time, and do you see why we love to cook for the family? We all get together and we love when we are cooking. So manja manja. Arrivederci, everybody. Pofte buna.